to increase uncertainty. It means increased optionality on our monetary policy. And for me, increased optionality means that probably we should decide about an end date of the net asset purchases, of the first step. And I think it could be around Q3, but the precise point needs, needs to be discussed. But optionality means also that we should have more freedom about deciding the following steps. We have at present in our guidance a so-called shortly before to say that the time period between the first step and the second step of the sequencing should be short. I am asking whether we should not drop this shortly in order to have more options about the calendar of the second step. I think we don't need to make a decision about the calendar of any liftoff before our June meeting. And this belongs also to increase optionality looking, looking at inflation data. We, we, have, we have several questions. It's temporary, but how high and how long is the hump going to be? What are the developments in energy prices, in the Ukrainian crisis? So it's better to be very pragmatic to be very clear about the sequencing, but to decide one step after another. The first decision will be probably about ending net asset purchases. So the next meeting will most likely be about ending net asset purchase? We, we, we will see where we are. It will be on March the 10th, and we are still February the 15th, and in such uncertain times, many things can happen in three weeks. But we will have more information and we will have our next forecast. Let me bring you back to that dropping the shortly um, in the sequencing, because that would then mean, like in theory, we'll see an end to the APP in the third quarter sometime, and that would not necessarily mean we also see a rate hike in the, in the fourth quarter then, right? This is optionality. When you are in an uncertain situation, and I discussed today the issue of forward guidance, Forward guidance is important to give clarity. But it should not go so far as tying our hands, especially in uncertain times. Forward guidance never means to set monetary policy on autopilot. And it's more important than ever. So, again, we follow our sequencing. We have a clear course. We could decide about the first step in March. We'll see. Uh, but I gave some suggestion on that. We shouldn't decide, according to me, about the calendar of the second step. So I repeat that any speculation about the calendar of a possible liftoff, referring to your question, is for me premature. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.